hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel and to another video and today's video is going to be a long time coming and i'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips on how you guys can improve your handwriting on ipad and a lot of these tips are going to be similar to the ones i showed you guys in how to improve your handwriting video which i will link for you guys down below so i do hope you guys find these tips helpful and let's get started So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is how to use the right type of paper for the right type of handwriting. So in GoodNotes, there are different types of papers you can use. So there are different options and I personally like using the grid paper, um, sword paper. So there is a blank paper option, there's dotted paper, grid paper, there's even um, a ruled narrow, ruled wide. So it all just depends on your writing size and your writing style. Now, if you're someone who has a typical kind of um, writing style that they like or typical type of prefer uh, paper they prefer then i would go for that one so i use a grid paper and it really works for me but um if you're someone who's got big handwriting maybe you could try using a uh, ruled wide paper i think that's what it's called or if you've got really small handwriting maybe using a narrow ruled paper is what um, you would prefer also, I know this goes without saying, but I do recommend that before you guys start, do look for some inspiration. Now, some people do find iPad handwriting really, really difficult. So, I think it's just like improving your handwriting with a pen or a pencil. It's all about practice. And I think once you get the hang of it, it becomes quite natural for you to write on the iPad. And it certainly was a struggle for me because... I tend to uh, write a lot on paper, so when I switched over to taking um, iPad notes, it was a huge, huge shift, and I did take some time to get used to, but I think now, finally, I can say that I've got a pretty good hold on my iPad handwriting. So the next thing that we're going to be talking about is your pen size and this is something I have talked about or mentioned in some of my other videos but I think the pen size that you use can on your iPad really affect your handwriting. So it's a bit like using an actual pen where you've got a 0.5mm, a 1mm, um, anything like that. So I personally use a 0.5mm pen and it's just personally what works with my writing style but there are different thicknesses you can use there's a 1mm which is very similar to the 1mm you could get on your pen so here you can see the different um, pen sizes and how it kind of drastically changes your handwriting all right the next thing is position of your actual ipad now this is something that i recently discovered and I was quite surprised. So I recommend putting your iPad in and kind of using these case as in, to use it in an upright position. This will really help when you're writing because it'll give more support to your actual arm when you're writing. I know it sounds a bit weird because writing on paper isn't the same. All right, now I'm gonna be talking about some accessories that you guys can invest in to help with your handwriting. The first being a paper screen protector. This is the one I use and I'll link it down below for you guys. But honestly, this is an investment that I would highly recommend doing. It has helped me so much with my handwriting. It's basically what the name says. It's just a screen protector that gives you a paper feel um, when you're writing. The next thing is a Apple Pencil Grip. This has honestly been so, so helpful, especially for someone who holds their pen really close to the nib. This is so helpful in my grip. Now, the next tip might seem a really, really basic one, but it is so important, and that is to try and write slow at the start. I know it's really easy and tempting to just write really quickly, but if you want aesthetic writing or neat handwriting, this is definitely something that you need to do. And whenever I'm writing, um, when I'm filming for YouTube or just in real life, it's actually fast forwarded or I'm either recording in a fast setting or something. But in uh, real time and real life, I actually do write quite slowly. 
and I do take my time to make sure that I write every letter the way it's supposed to be and according to my writing style. My next tip is to take use of the tools available in the GoodNotes and Notability app. So for example, on GoodNotes, I love using the zoom in tool when I'm taking notes. This is really, really helpful to make your handwriting neater because when you're zoomed in, you have more uh, a better view of what you're writing and you can kind of focus on your letter size and all of that and it has really helped me improve my handwriting and another thing is that you need to find a writing style first there is no point in trying to improve your writing when you're not sure what you're aiming for so it's either that you want to improve your size or maybe your consistency or maybe the shape of your letters you don't like how like chunky your writing looks or how thin it is so definitely find the end goal first and kind of work backwards from there trying to find how you can improve your handwriting so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe below like and comment on this video and i'll catch you on the next one bye guys